Vicky Byrne, just smiling there because you defended your Commonwealth belt for the second time in magnificent style against uh, Michael Gomez. But I've just said to you, you know, you got involved in this fight rather than staying away from him, boxing, boxing. But Dean Powell says to me, absolutely wrong. You fought the right tactics. You got involved and you knocked the fight out of him. Um, do you know, when we, when we sat down before we discussed the tactics and that, obviously to start with it was to hit and move and not get hit. Um, in the middle rounds and that, I did start leaning on a good bit, so I did. But again, that was part of my tactics as well. I was putting all my... See, when you notice when you watch a fight, when he was on the ropes, I was putting all my weight on him. He was actually holding me up as well. I was just draining the strength out of him. The seventh round, I knew he had nothing left. I clipped him one, and again, the finish was spectacular. I just said about him. What about the referee taking a point of you there? Because I know your tactics were to go in and, and drain him, but uh, the referee felt like you were holding too much. Do you know, I, I said, after the, I, spoke, I said to the referee, I said, I, I'll, I'll admit it, I was holding a good bit. But at the end of the day, he was holding as well, and it was just, I, I kept getting the blunt side it. Um, he, he was using his head quite a lot, he was putting his head down low, um, and that was how it seemed to be that I was holding a good bit. But at the end of the day, I, was, I, do, I did what I did, had, to, had to do in there to win. Michael Gomez, before the fight, he had a lot of talk and a lot to say, and during the fight, he was still talking to you. What was he saying? Do you know, I wasn't really paying much attention to it. Do you know, after the fight there, I was speaking to his trainers. His trainers actually told me, what Michael said before the, before the press conference, you know, like, he wish he didn't have to do it, because I'm a nice guy, he says, but at the end of the day, that's what he does, and it helps sell tickets, so he had to do it. But we'll talk about selling tickets. What about your fans there tonight? My goodness, they were there in force. A word for them. Do you know what? I would just like to say a big thanks to everybody that comes to support me. I, I feel as if I've got a great support here up in Scotland. Just hopefully we start getting more shows up here. Finally, that's the best Ricky Burns I've ever seen in, you know, in a ring. What's next for you? Um, as I said before, I keep getting better with every fight. Um, there is bigger fights out there for me now. Um, I'm hoping hopefully this year get a shot at Kevin Mitchell um, or either Roman Martinez for the world title. Either or them, I'd be ready for them come June. Thanks, Ricky. Thanks, Vicky.